Hello everyone, it's Coolworks here and today I'm going to be doing a thoughts video on some of the newly, uh, kind of recently revealed LEGO sets, upcoming sets. And I'm going to start with this idea set right here. For some reason I never made a separate video on it. I was going to and I just, it never happened. So I'm including it in this list. And yeah, we're going to start off. This is the I LEGO Ideas 21319, the Friends Central Perk set. Um, yeah, this is a very interesting idea set, kind of a niche um, set, if you will, kind of. I mean, you know, it's a specific TV show, sitcom, um, older TV show, I think. Don't basically, I actually basically know nothing about the show, never watched it. And yeah, so in that sense, I don't really know much of the, you know, the set's context and really who the figures are representing, but still looks very, very cool very detailed. I just love the detail, not even not knowing the, you know, what it's based off of. I just think it looks really, really cool. Just the details look like there's so much thought in it. And some of these, to be honest, are like building techniques that I could use in mocks or at least get inspiration from. And this is a kind of a vignette, well, not really a vignette, but kind of like a uh, open uh, building, but I think it really fits it here. Kind of like what they did at the Big Bang Theory uh, set, idea set back some time ago. I believe it was kind of like in this similar um, format. And yeah, it looks like it's, I don't actually know if there's stickers, to be honest. Um, I, th I don't know. I, hopefully there isn't. But yes, yeah, $60 in the U.S. for 1,070 pieces. So that is just an unbeatable deal. Probably like one of the best price to part ratios on a set that we've seen in like, I don't know, probably a long time, to be honest. I've said to be honest a whole lot, but, um, yeah, great looking minifigs, great looking, maybe let's show you the box art, where is it, right, they're really cool looking box art, and yeah, like a Friends, the television series, <laughs> it's very, very cool, you get, looks like seven figures here, and there's so much detail put into this. And yeah, it just looks really, really uh, great. Like I said, even though I don't know anything about the show, just the details look so, um, you know, they just look, it feels so real, just looking at the details. Just, I love that couch build. And yeah, it's a really great set, I think. So we will now, that's the Friends Central Perk set. We will now move on to the next, one of the more kind of recent small sets. Very small set, this is the Lego 853907 toy soldier ornament so this is obviously a christmas ornament and it actually goes in like a little um like a bobble kind of piece like a big uh clear bubble the parts the part that they use for the uh lego ornaments to put inside they put okay it's kind of confusing but hope you guys know what i mean and yeah this looks really cool up the little builds for the arms and the presents it all looks very, very cool. Definitely a very cool uh, little set. And yeah, I don't know if it's going to be a promotion or just, I imagine it might just be an ornament. It'd be nice if it was a promotion during the Christmas or the holiday season. And yeah, let's move on to the next one. This is kind of a very short little synopsis of some of the recently revealed uh, LEGO sets. And this is the LEGO Brickheads for 40352 Scarecrow. This was um, actually a missing set number in the kind of the seasonal or in the Brickhead series. I forget what number it was, but it was kind of missing and then they looks like they went back and filled it in, or at least we now know the number. And yeah, this is to be honest, one of the best looking Brickheads I've seen in a long time. It just has so much character to it. And yeah, we'll have to see when this gets released. I actually don't know. Maybe sometime in the next few months. I imagine maybe sometime in November because it looks kind of like, I don't know, for Thanksgiving, maybe October. Maybe October would be more fitting to release it, but looks like such a very cool build. So much uh, detail as always in the seasonal brickhead sets. And yeah, love the use of the, um, like the top of the scarecrow with that, like, kind of dried up uh, brown plant piece 
and that's just a very great set for ten dollars hopefully it's ten dollars it uh, looks like it's gonna be a great deal hopefully it's ten hopefully it's ten dollars in the US so yeah moving on to the Lego extra four zero three six eight Christmas accessories set this is one of these little extra poly bags like the parts packs kind of I think this looks very nice to get a husky dog a couple of these decorative fence pieces very cool little snowman build and you have some skis just a whole lot of cool different uh, parts usages parts usages there I love the use of that uh, like plant kind of foliage uh, like branch piece or stem whatever it is in white it looks like it's done in white for snow so that looks very cool or at least a snow covered uh, branch so that looks very very cool and yeah hopefully that'll be What's the price? Like maybe four bucks? Maybe, I don't know. Hopefully. Similarly priced to other poly bags, but moving on to the last one. This is the Lego Star Wars 40362 Battle of Endor. And this is kind of a 20th century, I mean, oh my word, I said 20th century, 20th anniversary um, of Lego Star Wars. I have no idea why I said 20th century. Um, very, very cool small build. I know not everyone likes these small little like kind of diorama of these small uh, Star Wars scenes, kind of like the Battle of Hoth that we saw earlier this year for the May the 4th promotion. And I don't know, not everyone likes these. This, this one's particularly has gotten a lot of uh, kind of hate, to be honest, but I really think it's cool. As a like a Star Wars fan, I think it looks awesome and very small um, little build, but it looks great. Love how this is all studs in the side. You can see the tiles there in the side and these little ATST walkers look great. They look just great. Parts usage. Um, yeah, using those droid arms or the uh, robot. Well, droid arms. They've been used as robot arms. Those pieces for the legs. They look really great. Love some of the. I just those are probably my favorite part of the set, hands down. And then the trees with this uh, like upside down kind of building technique looks great. And I think those are supposed to be stormtroopers. Yeah, I think that's what they're supposed to be. Very, very small uh, stormtroopers, of course. This is a very cool micro-scale uh, little set. It's probably some kind of promotion, obviously. Not sure exactly what it's going to be for, but I think it looks great. And, yeah, so there, that set is the Battle of Endor, set number 40362. That's without a doubt my favorite of all these sets that I just showed you guys, because a couple of them are really small, the Christmas uh, poly bags, or the Christmas sets. And the Scarecrow is really cool, and the Friend Central Perk looks awesome, but I don't know the context. Um, this set, obviously, you know, as a Star Wars fan, or like a Star Wars fan, I know the, you know, context. It really makes sense. It looks great. So this is definitely my favorite out of the ones that I showed you guys here. And so, yeah, that's kind of my very short, or <laughs> getting longer now, but my short thoughts video, my kind of synopsis. And... Yeah, there you go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome LEGO content. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be sure to upload even more content in the next few days. Um, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.